Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in. In this week's episode of Uncharted Territory, we discover some real gems at Ruby Beach. It's like a giant playground for kids and adults. Get our toes wet at the Tree of Life. Hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit. And continue to chase the sun at Lake Quinault. Oh, there's the sun. Yeah. Destruction Island right behind me. There's all this driftwood that's been washed ashore and the kids are loving it, having a ball, just making pretend play out of these forts. They've got kitchens and living rooms and fireplaces in there. There's all sorts of cool things to look at and play with here. This is the spot to watch the sunset and we've kind of struck out the past few days on any kind of sun and we can start to see it peak out here so it's still early afternoon we might spend the rest of the evening here and see if we can't catch the sun go down. I would love to see a good sunset. I feel like that's the one thing that we've just been missing lately so fingers crossed. Until then we're just chilling and exploring, having fun. down the beach a little bit so farther south from Ruby and this is kind of like a standard your standard beach like most of us know it especially in the southeast wide decent sand a lot of people walk in the beach it's definitely a lot different than in Ruby and Rialto Beach but you got the tree of lives right here a little day use campground area just pull in there and park walk right down go to the right and it's shoot, I don't know 50 yards can't miss it too bad it's uh it's just been really cloudy on the coast Jenny wanted a sunset and Ruby and it's not gonna happen we gotta we gotta keep moving boys are having fun playing in the water they love the beach This is the tree of life. 
I use this saying quite often, hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit. And this is it right here, brother. It is hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit. Pretty neat. All right, so next morning, got a cup of coffee. Found us a nice little camp spot. This four service road has been very quiet. We've seen one car. We got here about five o'clock last night. Usually we find a place that's you can get off the main road and a little bit more secluded. But this has been so quiet, uh, it doesn't really matter. We've had decent service too to get caught up on things. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the lake. I think it's, what's the lake, Jenny? Quinault. We're gonna go over to Lake Quinault. And it's got two of the biggest trees, certain types, which we'll go into when we get over there and check them out. I think one's like the largest in the United States and one maybe the, like the largest in the world. So we're gonna go over there, get breakfast, um, got our coffee made but make breakfast for us and the kids. And uh, Jen wants to get a workout in, go see the trees, check out the lake, and uh, have a day about it. Yummy. How was it, Logan? Good. What did Mama make you? A Talbot. Mm. Get some breakfast. Not in a talkative mood this morning. Usually you talk my ear off. Focused. Okay. Catches. Last bite. Mm. You driving? <laughs> the world's largest Sitka spruce tree. This thing's crazy big. Nuts. It's so cool. There's a campground right here, too, so you could camp right next to this giant. It's almost 60 inches in diameter. Crazy. What do you think about the tree, cool. boys? Hey, this one's alive, right? Yeah. <laughs> that um, other cedar was kind of dead and didn't look too good. Yeah. Looks like it's seen to better days. That's right. Yeah. That thing's awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. Nah. Oh, one up, one down? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> Man, that tree was pretty amazing. But we found us a nice little picnic beach area here on the lake. I think Jenny's going to get her uh, workout on. We're going to do like van lifers do and jump in the old frog pond and clean off. It's been, uh, I don't know, how long has it been since we had a shower? A couple days. Yeah, it hasn't been that long, maybe two or three days. Wind's starting to pick up, but the sun is coming out, which is awesome. We haven't, I feel like we haven't really seen the sun now in probably three or four days, so you start to forget how much you need the sun and how good it feels to just warm your bones and you rely on it for so much just to elevate your mood too. It's been chilly. It's been like in the 50s, 60s, cloudy. 
which is not i mean i'd rather 50s 60s cloudy than having what 100 degrees yeah any day of the week it's but been nice it's been a nice change i yeah. embrace it but i also welcome the sun all right let's jump in hmm. You're not getting in? Yeah, I may. I can't run over here, but I can't get it up. Oh. Wow, that's a steep drop off down there, the lake. It's not as bad as Crescent Lake, not as cold. So, anytime we can find a body of water, we're in it. That's why we love the hot springs. It's awesome to get get in some warm water, chill out, relax. Good for your mind, your body. I see Jenny scouting out some rocks, trying to find a place to work out. <laughs> she just snapped her head back at me and laughed. But she's gonna get her workout in first and then take a dip yeah check this out watch she's got a pretty big rock there she is folks she's trying to figure out which stone fits her best out here like that I know some of y'all are probably thinking she's done lost her mind but you know at home I had like the whole nine yards home gym the kettlebells and the dumbbells and the barbell and the power tower and when we were building out the van I had intended to bring some workout equipment with me just to stay fit on the road so I've worked really hard since I've had these kids to try to you know lose the mommy poundage and I'm still working at it but what we didn't anticipate was for our weight in the van to already be so heavy so uh, Kurt told me I had to really cut down on what I originally wanted to bring so I ended up only being able to bring some resistance bands and like a knockoff TRX system so what that's forced me to do is get creative with my environment and I must say, it's been a welcome challenge. I was a little resistant at first because, you know, we get in our routines and you like what you like, but I found so much more pleasure and I found it so much more rewarding using what nature can provide. Getting to throw around rocks and lift logs and get dirty and sandy and just kind of forcing you to think outside the box has really brought my love and enjoyment for working out to a whole nother level and I think there's something really to be said for that when you enjoy something you look forward to doing it versus Ugh, I gotta go to the gym or I gotta go take a run this has been really cool for me to be able to work out basically in every state we've been to in every conditions whether it's warm cold sunny windy I've even done it in the van when it's been rainy outside you just got to get creative and think outside the box and I'm loving it. Let me know you guys, if you want like some on the road, travel, no bad friendly workouts, I'd be glad to share that with you. I know they're kind of a dime a dozen. You can just Google anything on the internet, but if you're interested in knowing what I personally enjoy and do, then I'd be more than happy to share if there's 
a need or want to, to know that information, but this has been really fun. So I'm gonna go take a dip while I can before it gets too uh, much windier and clean off. So here we go. refreshing. The water temperature is not so bad. The waves. You can't stand still. And the wind. Oh, there's the sun. Yeah. Thumbs up. Alright, well that was fun at the lake. So we had intended to go find this other big cedar tree that is in the Quinault Lake area, but come to find out in 2016, it actually fell over due to natural causes. So it is actually a decommissioned trail now to get to, we found out. You can still park there. There's old remnants of a trail, but there's nothing back there to really go see. So the big cedar at Quinault Lake, neat. No longer. In 2016, it fell over. And interestingly, in 2014, the big cedar over at Kalak area, it got struck by lightning, which is why it looks all wonky and split in half. But what's really cool about that one is there's new life growing out of it, and there's all kinds of metaphors that you could take away from that. And interestingly enough, there's some other really cool trees in this area that you just can't get to without hiking quite a ways. There's a western hemlock and another yellow cedar that require a bit of a hike to get to in this area. So even though our kids can handle a good bit of hiking, we're going to save our legs for a little bit later. We're heading on going down the coast into Oregon and Mount Hood and Three Sisters area and Bend and the Columbia River Gorge. So stay tuned. That'll be probably some of our next video that you guys will see. We're going to save our energy and our hiking legs till when we get down there. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. We enjoy bringing you along our adventures. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts. If you've ever been to this area, what did you guys think about it? This was our first time here, and I will sufficiently say I am just, I'm satisfied. It's been beautiful. I love it up here, everything about it. Even though the days may be a little damp and foggy and not as much sun, it's nice to kind of switch things up with the cooler temperatures too. So, um, thank you. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We will catch you guys on the next adventure.